Hello everyone. This is Charles Bridge Tech with another keychain flashlight review. This time from Lexol. Now I was sent this directly by them. They wanted me to test and review. This light comes in this box. A couple additional accessories that are in here to help you carry it in different ways. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up. See what's in. One USB charging cable and one clip holster. Now this is plastic. Not too sure about this. We'll have to take a look, see how it does. Comes with a user manual. Nothing on the back side of it. Pretty straightforward operation. Three light levels. Thanking you for purchasing their product. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. Now I feature often new products on my channel. They do have to be at least good quality or above. I will not feature horrible products just to bash them. I've got better things to do than something you're already going to know that's no good. Why would I even feature it on my channel? So when you come here, you're always going to see a good quality light. Something that I would want personally to carry myself, which is good quality at least. Now here's the quick release clip, and that's nice. I'm not too sure about using the key ring with this. I would just use this directly on there, be a little more sturdy, but that's the way it came. Here's the charging port. Does have a stainless steel bezel on there. Now this side switch does glow in the dark as you can see. All aluminum body on here so it's going to be rugged. Now the style and design on this is nice. Not seeing any issues here. And the machining and finish on this is good. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look here. You can see it's a textured reflector. Now this is running the Cree XP-G2 LED. I get a good picture of this. Kind of hard with my lighting on this. And normally I would take it apart, show you the insides, but this is a sealed unit. So now let's go through the UI. Now the UI is pretty straightforward. All you're going to do click on the side switch, turns it on, 500 lumens on the highest output, see the beam here, does have a little bit of a hot spot right here, and it is cool white, but it's mostly flood, and then we'll click it again, we'll turn it off after it's been on, for a little while. We'll turn it back on. It does 
start off on the highest level and now you can go down through those light outputs that's the lowest light output and turning that light off and that's all there is to this nothing really difficult to do now one issue here is the button can be accidentally pressed so if you do hit it this will come on on the highest output which this will get warm pretty quick um, so that might be an issue but if you're just carrying it on the back of your bag not seeing any way that you can accidentally hit this definitely pocket carry might have an issue with doing that now here is the clip I just want to look at this and see exactly how this is going to feel holding this on here. Now that is a good snug fit, but it is plastic, so breaking it could happen but it definitely does hold on there tightly so if you want to pocket carry this instead which would might be a little bit easier than with your keys possibly turning the light on but in case beam performance is good on this and like I said build quality is good so let's wait no further let's take this little guy out see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Lexar little keychain light. 500 lumens on this, so uh, see how it does here in the Tree of Life. And it is making it there. Kind of on the floody side, but it is making 138 feet there so impressive light output for a floody beam definitely got more than enough light output for most situations 35 feet to that water spout 65 feet there to that tree so that's impressive fence line there kind of see it there kind of leans more towards the flood side all coming from this little light right here all right we're gonna go down to the next level there we go now medium and low are actually pretty impressive uh, for the best battery life so let's kind of show you the range here pretty impressive again it's only a little keychain light go down to the next level here if I can get it going there's the 150 lumens is, is quite a bit of light that's the only not really a con but wish it had like maybe a 25 lumen but uh, battery life will do well on this Good for up close. Maybe a little too bright for some applications. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Actually, the beam quality on this actually was impressive. Definitely did well. It's got some good range on it. 
Now it does lean a little more towards the flood side, but does have a nice beam with cut off. You see a large area at once. And the uh, build quality is good on this. The light output, now 500 lumens, this does get pretty warm pretty quickly. So you definitely want to use medium or low. Uh, didn't have any issues there. It will cycle down. So that's another good thing. So you'll notice it's gradually start to kind of trickle down to the next level, which is medium. And uh, for under $20, definitely feels rugged. The only issue, again, like I said, that button could be accidentally pressed. But if you do use the clip and carry it on your pocket, might not have that issue. All right, well, I want to thank Lexol for sending me this keychain light to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description to their Amazon store. Now, I also am working on a special discount code. Now, this is already an affordable flashlight, but I am working on to get some more off of it. That way, it'll be more of a gift idea, possibly, or if you need a keychain light yourself. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from Lexol to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.